Hello, everyone. Welcome to Moms in Real Estate's Girl Educate Yourself. I am Kristen Cantrell, and I'm so excited, you guys, to be talking to Marissa Lightsey out of Mexico, Missouri. You might have seen her on Moms in Real Estate before. She is fantastic. And I asked her to come back on Girl Educate Yourself because, you guys, she has so many in escrow all the time, and I'm just like, how do you keep it all together? So I asked if she would share three tips on staying on track when you have a ton going on, a lot in escrow. So Marissa, why don't you give us a little background on yourself before you dive into your tips? Hey, Kristen. So um, my name is Marissa Leitze. Like she said, um, I live in a little town called Mexico, Missouri. We have population like 12,000. Um, we've got probably about 30 realtors here in town. So it's pretty competitive. Um, you know, but even despite being in this little town, um, we still have some really like high, high volume producers. So um, I got my license in 2019. Um, and I think like my first full year, I did about 30 transactions somewhere around there. Um, and this year from January to this point, um, I'll be closing number 43 today. So it's been a really busy <laughs> year. <laughs> um, that is so insane. So just repeat that from January to today, which we're in July. So we're halfway yes. through the year and she's already yes. at number 40, 43, 43. 43. Oh yes. My gosh. Yeah. So um, and it just happened so fast um, and you really learn to kind of adapt and just figure out what works for you as an agent and for your clients. Um, you know, it just seemed like there for a couple of weeks, it was like every other day I had a new contract um, that I was sending over to title. So, you know, it just, um, I didn't plan for it, but it happened and I just kind of learned to roll with the punches. Um, but there were definitely some, you know, things I kind of learned along the way that I've put into place that have really helped. So well, that's great. So we want to hear, what do you do? Tell us your tips so that anybody else out there that has a ton going on, which every market right now, you guys, she's Everybody. from yeah. Missouri. I'm from Gilbert, Arizona. And every girl on Moms in Real Estate will tell you across the United States, it's crazy everywhere. It's so insane. tell us your tips. Yeah. You know, so, um, you know, first things first, I guess when I first got my license and I came over here, we have a smaller brokerage. Um, I actually own the Century 21 office here in Mexico. Um, we have 16 agents and then we have an office manager. And when I first came over, I thought, I'm not going to bug my office manager for anything. I'm going to handle every part of my transaction, you know, start to finish every document, every signature I will have my hands on and I'll make sure um, that kind of went out the window whenever I started getting all these transactions. Um, so, you know, I guess that would be tip number one is utilize what your office has to offer you. So um, my office manager, Mary, is gold. You know, sometimes there are things that will just pop into your head like, oh, I need this amendment signed or whatever. And if I can just call or text Mary and say, hey, can you dot loop it to so and so? It makes my life so much easier. And that's what she's there for. Um you know, so really just utilizing what your brokerage has to offer you can help you tremendously. Um, I love that. And I kind of, you know, it reminds me of um, when I first became a mom and I was like, oh, I'm doing this all by myself. Yeah, and I remember no some, help. yeah, no help. And I remember <laughs> like, even like, think about like carrying your baby in with like all the groceries. And I'm like, I got this. And then I remember someone being like, when you get offered help, take it. Take and so it I think like time. we, yeah, we like to put it all on ourselves for some reason. So yes, I definitely, uh, that is such a great tip. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, that, you know, that really has helped a lot. I mean, that's like number one. Um, you know, the second is really just putting your head down and getting to work. Um, that is something that like, you know, the first year of my career, um, I would have those days where I would just like kind of hang out and watch Netflix and like, you know, not really, you know, cause I wasn't that busy, but when you have that many transactions, you don't have, you don't have that time. Um, sure. You could time block it out and do it, you know, but first things first is making sure everything's taken care of. So um, I really tried to make it a point to like come into the office, shut my door, um, write out a list of like, here's what I need to tackle today. Um, check every transaction and make sure everything is, you know, on the up and up. And truthfully, it shouldn't take all day long to do that. Even with 17, you can knock that out in a few hours. And we're lucky enough to have a job like that where then you have, 
you know, then you have the time and you've touched base with everybody and you've made sure everything's okay. But yeah, really just sitting down and actually doing the work instead of just driving around all day or watching TV or, you know, just mm-hmm. making sure you're, you're still holding yourself accountable to do your job is a, yeah, it is definitely easy when you're self-employed to be like, Oh, I could be watching Netflix, but it's so true. You have to be so disciplined and create like habits yeah. for yourself, you know? Absolutely. So then that kind of goes along with my third tip. Um, I have really started to utilize um, this system called Trello. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of people use it different ways. I mean, it's not really necessarily real estate specific, um, but you know, I've used it to handle each transaction and I have all the steps throughout the transaction in there. So I go and check them off that way. Um, you know, I also have like all of my buyers because God forbid a buyer falls through the cracks because I forget about them. So I have like an A list and a back burner list and people who aren't even pre-approved yet. Um, you know, so just making a habit of checking like your transaction management, client management system daily and just making sure that like, have I touched base with this person in a while or like, am, you know, is there something I'm forgetting? Um, Trello is a really good one and it's not it's not very expensive for like the upgraded. You can use a free version. Once you get to 17 transactions, you kind of have to have the the paid version, but it was cheap and it was worth it. And Trello has really saved my life. Um, Yeah. I've heard of that system from quite a few people. So definitely like that's a good one. It's amazing. And I mean, it's so flexible. You could use it for really any type of business. Um, It's like a blank canvas, essentially. It's kind of like online post-its, but you can open up a post-it and, you know, categorize. It's amazing. So, um, and then in addition to Trello, I listen to the Hustle Humbly podcast, which is, um, they're two realtors in like the Baton Rouge, Louisiana market. And they made um, these email templates and they're great. They are so good. Um, I think it was like 200 bucks, but you get all these templates and you kind of cater them to your own um, voice and everything. And so those have been gold too, just to make sure that I have, I know I've said what I needed to say to each client. I have it, you know, I've got the receipts, I've got, I've got it in there to check. So I, yeah, email templates and Trello have really saved my life too, as far as, you know, keeping up with, with as many as I was doing. Yeah, absolutely. I think that that all three of your points were such great advice. And I think that anybody that's running around with, you know, like a chicken with their head cut off can really Mm -hmm. listen to this and be like, okay, these are like three simple things. I always love the kiss method, like keep it simple, stupid. And I feel like what you're giving us is exactly that. It's nothing complicated. Nothing at all. No, but it definitely makes the world of a difference when you have these things in place. Yes, it absolutely does. And you'll feel so much better. You know, I, I could only imagine if I didn't have these things to fall back on how just stressed out and, you know, I would feel versus like, I I could be cool as a cucumber with, you know, 20 transactions, as long as I've, I know that I've touched base on everything and, and I've got help. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for all of your insight and coming back on moms in real estate. We just love having you on. Thank you so much. Yep, absolutely. Thank you guys so much.